Hi, we're Team Waves to Success. My name is Mona Lee, and my team members are Kudus Solomon and Nahom Seifu, and our mentor is Ms. Rock Tekeste. The goal of our company is to build safe transportation for students, and today we will be presenting about our watercraft design. In Saba, Malaysia, there's not enough land space to build schools. So to combat this, floating schools are being built over the water, but there is not a reliable form of transportation for the students to travel to and from school. The Waves to Success team has designed a water taxi to help the students travel to and from school in a safe and efficient manner. These were the sketches our group came up with the first couple of weeks of the program for our water taxi. The drawing on the top left is conduces minus to the right, minus to the right of his, and the two on the bottom are Mona's. We ended up combining all of our drawings to make our final model, which will be shared later. OneShape is a product design platform, and we used it to create 2D and 3D models of our watercraft prototype. This slide shows the side and top profile of our watercraft sketch. This next slide shows multiple angles of our 3D model. You can see how our design improved as we progressed from the 2D model to the 3D model. At this time, I'd also like to thank Preston, Nikkei, and Jaden, who are fellow mentors and interns in this program for helping during this process. Here is our completed DFMEA charts. The five failure modes we chose were rubber detaching, water coming into the windows, entrance emergency exit doors not closing properly, seat belts not working or detaching, and the wheels on the boat not functioning or falling off. The severity of rubber detaching we rated a 10 out of 10 because it would mean our boat would be cut in half. Water coming to the windows we said was a three out of 10 because even if it did happen, it would be easy and quick to contain. The severity of the entrance emergency exit doors not closing properly, was rated at eight out of 10 because open doors while on water or land is a danger when moving. We rated the severity of seat belts not working or detaching a six out of 10, so somewhat average because you wouldn't really feel the severity unless you've been in an accident or collision. For the severity of the wheels on the boat not functioning or falling off, we rated a 10 out of 10 because the boat would either end up not being able, not being able to move or crash into something because you wouldn't have control. We rated the frequency of all these failures happening out of five. So basically what the chances of them happening would be. We gave rubber detaching a one, water coming to the windows a three, entrance emergency exit doors not closing properly a four, seat belts not working a four, and the wheels of the boat not functioning or falling off a two. And finally, we ranked the five based off the combined score, severity times frequency, one being the highest and five the lowest. The entrance and emergency exit doors not closing properly was ranked number one with a score of 32. Seat belts not working was ranked two with a score of 24. The wheels on the boat not functioning or falling off was ranked three with a score of 20. And the rubber detaching was ranked four with a score of 10. And last, water coming to the windows was ranked five with a score of nine. As just stated, the five modes of failure were rubber ripping or detaching, water coming into the windows, the entrance and emergency exit doors not closing properly, seat belts not working or detaching, wheels, not, wheels on the boat not functioning or falling off. The metric to be observed for rubber detachment would be a gap between the middle sections of the craft for the window for water coming into the windows and the entrance and emergency exit doors not closing properly. The metric to be observed would be water leakage. For seatbelts not working or detaching, the metric to be observed would be the safety hazard for an accident. And the metric observed for the boat wheels malfunctioning would be the boat's movement hindered to move while on land. The threshold slash criteria for rubber detachment would be no rip or detachment between the rubber and body of the craft. For the water coming into the windows and the entrance and emergency exit doors not closing properly, it would be no leakage and no detachments. <clears throat> For the seatbelts not working or detaching, it would be no seatbelt detachment. And the, thr the threshold and criteria for the wheels on the boat not functioning or falling off would be the boat wheels stay attached. The description of each test for rubber detachment would be testing the mini prototype in the water. 
for water coming through the windows, we would drive the craft in water and propel water pressure on the windows. And we would do the same for the doors by propelling water pressure on the doors. For the seat belts not working or detaching, we would test the watercraft with dummy passengers. And for the wheels on the boat not functioning or falling off, we would drive the craft on grounds with various resistance levels. After creating our 3D model on Onshape, I made these engineering drawings to convey the blueprints of our design to our manufacturing teams. The drawings include the top, side, front, back, and isometric views of our watercraft. Each view includes dimensions and scaling for creating the life-size watercraft. Here, we have images of our watercraft, which are recently 3D printed. The image on the left is the outer shell of the watercraft with the wheels attached, and the images on the right show individual parts of it. A huge thank you to Jeremy at Seattle Makers for making this possible. Our target market will be administrative members on the school board, government, and city officials, because these groups will be in charge of purchasing our product. To market our products, we will create social media posts and use our pitch deck slides to gain attraction from customers. Additionally, our marketing goal will work towards building a trusting relationship with the teachers and students because they will be the primary passengers on board. When creating our marketing plan, we are inspired by well-renowned boat and bus companies such as Brunswick Boat Group, which is the largest maker of pleasure boats in the world and the Blue Bird Corporation, which is one of the largest bus manufacturers in the country. After researching these companies, we learned that the Blue Bird Corporation was greatly impacted by the school shutdowns this past year, since students were no longer able to go to school buildings. And additionally, they experienced countless delays in orders and supply shipments. What we found particularly inspiring about this company was that while orders and manufacturing slowed, the company pivoted their energy to other aspects of their corporation. They decided to improve their internal business structure, which helped to increase their full year average selling price by more than $6,000 or 7% per bus. We recognize the designs that other teams are presenting, but the Waves to Success watercraft is designed with specific safety measures, such as our seatbelt checks, emergency doors and closed windows and life jackets for every student on board to provide the best and safest experience for our students. Furthermore, our watercraft includes two emergency exits, one on the back of the watercraft and one on the top. We also have life jackets beneath every seat for easy access and seat belts on every seat as well. We even included safety check lights for the drivers so that they will be notified if a student's seatbelt is unbuckled. Furthermore, our watercraft has a rubber middle section for easy navigation, as well as enclosed windows for a safe and an enjoyable view. Regarding our financial cert summary and projections, we plan on producing five watercrafts and are estimating them to start at $60,000 each. We will create and maintain quarterly assessments on our watercraft design to make sure it still meets the demands and needs of the students and teachers. We will also make adjustment, adjustments and improvements as needed. Additionally, as our team expands, we will double, double the number of watercrafts we produce in the following year. We plan on getting our money from outside of investors, social media fundraisers, and reaching out to people in the community. We also are not going to just let whoever gives us the most money dictate our choice in the school we sell our product to, as we want to be fair and beneficial to everyone. In the next 12 months, we hope that our watercraft will have a 90% or higher approval rate. We will conduct quarterly assessments on our product to adjust the price or improve design features using customer feedback. We also plan to expand our business across Malaysia and to other countries. During our initial launch, we will have five watercrafts, but we expect to have much more in the coming months. Based on our market plan, we propose a $400,000 budget for our product. We got to this number after researching that one school bus costs around $50,000, and since our watercraft is much more advanced, we raised this amount to $60,000 per watercraft. 
Multiplying this cost by five brings us to $300,000 for manufacturing the five watercrafts. We then accounted for the funds needed to market our project, product and manage the overall project. This brought us to $400,000. We propose that 75% of this budget will go towards production, 15% will go towards management, 8% for marketing, and 2% for public relations. The end stages of our design process included going over our watercraft a couple times and mixing up small and fixing up small details, finer, final peer feedback, and making sure everything was good to go and looking well for the final presentation. There are many benefits of our overall design. Some of these include increased school attendance rates, decreased emissions of CO2 because of our use of eco-friendly materials, less stress on parents to get their kids to school, a strong sense of community that the students will create when aboard the watercraft together, and a higher interest in technology careers from the students once they see this watercraft project come together. We as a team developed our technical and interpersonal skills throughout the program by working closely with each other to brainstorm ideas, modify ideas, and to produce the best product possible. We also improved our time management and prioritization skills. Each teammate brought unique strengths and we worked to amplify those when working together. My team members and I are all heading off to college next year, but we hope to continue exploring engineering, marketing, and entrepreneurship in the future. We also hope to find more fellowship opportunities and we plan to share this program with our friends and family. Lastly, we definitely plan to stay connected with our fellow interns and mentors that we met during this program. Here are our credits for the presentations. All images used were from Google and Canva images. Slides use voiceover and are edited by the Waves to Success members. Mona Lee did the 3D on-chain model slides, 2D sketch slides, and the other designated slides. Me, now I'm safe, we did the marketing slides, 2D sketch slides and the other designated slides. And a thank you to our mentor, Ms. Fractakeste, for all the help through the process. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for watching.